what's up guys welcome back to the channel well, we are jumping in today I'm gonna change the carburetor on cool Prix for a new holly carburetor with mechanical secondaries and things like that and just do away with some of this vacuum I just came out here to look at it I was like well, I'm just gonna see what I need and the next thing I know I got the breather off almost had the carburetor off I was like I haven't videoed anything yet so I had to get the pick up the camera I'm gonna kind of show you guys what I gotta have to do to swap this out from the factory one and stick around because I gotta get this ready for the fox gathering The reason I want to change this carburetor out after we drove it at Mustang Week for a week or so, it's got a dead spot when the four barrel. I know I could probably adjust that out and all that stuff, but the choke's not working and things like that. So I just bought a brand new Holly carburetor. I'm going to put it on there, and I've never really liked vacuum secondary carburetors anyway. So I bought a mechanical secondary. It's a Holly Brawler. I'll post a picture of it right here. I posted a picture on Instagram. I actually ordered it while we were at Mustang Week because I was getting tired of driving this thing and all that good stuff. But let's get to it, get this thing swapped out. And I also have to hook up the heater core, which you guys saw swapped out whenever we did the interior. I put a new heater core in, but it had been bypassed when I bought the car. So I have to get I have to go get hoses and things like that to put that back as well but let's get to it and see if we can get this thing knocked out you guys out there this is one of the first investment in tools you should make is a swivel socket it just makes it so much easier to get to certain bolts uh, for anything if you're working on transmission whatever it just makes easier time. You need to add this to your toolbox if you don't have swivel sockets. As you see here, this is the factory four barrel intake. It's aluminum intake, but has an EGR thing there. I'm gonna block that off because it was disconnected already. On, as you can see here, somebody bypassed it and there was nothing hooked to the EGR. And I don't have any of the smog stuff anyway. So, I'm going to make a plate to block that off and just keep moving forward and we'll eliminate some vacuum lines with that and everything so let's keep going I got the carburetor on it's the next day I had to go get some water lines for the heater hoses um, so here's the carburetor on here I've got to get um, the ball connector I forgot to grab one of those today 
I got the heater hose ran. It's not exactly how I want them to be, but it'll work for now. But I was trying to crank it. I'm out here by myself, so I can't get it to crank because I can't give it gas without the ball connector. So stay tuned. We'll get it tomorrow. See if we get this thing fired up and dialed in. Together. Farmer's on, got an idling down, the choke works. So far so good. I just got to uh, make my PVC line PCV PCV line. Alright guys, we're back on the uh cool pre. As you can see here, carburetor's on. I gotta go in today and route this PCV valve pipe back to the back of the carburetor because it was on the front before but i'm going to reroute that i fired it last night everything seems to be fine the choke was working got the idle set um i haven't driven it yet but so far so good it revs good but I'm just trying to get this thing knocked out before the fox gathering i don't know if this video will be up before then or not but i hope to see you guys out there and let's get to work and get this thing Get this line routed. I'm gonna I'm gonna route it with hard line because it's got to go down and around and just to make it a little cleaner. And so I have rubber hose running back there. But let's get this let's get to it and knock it out. back together and running we're burping the system now but because as you see earlier in this video i placed the heater hoses so we got to burp that air out of the system to make sure we have heat so i'm sure it's gonna be a little cool on saturday morning when we're heading to the fox gathering but she's running good i gave the air cleaner a new coat of paints i got new spark plug wires on there uh and new carburetor so Cool Pre is ready to rock. So I'm looking forward to seeing you guys on Saturday. And until next time, I'm out of here. <laughs>